What's up hey everyone, this is Cybernight, and today I'm going to open up another Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duelist Magical Hero Box for you guys. So, yeah, of course, you guys knew I wasn't just gonna get one of these. I mean, I've been really excited about this set. I always love Legendary Duelist packs, even though they kind of short print some things uh, nowadays, which I really hope stops. But we did have some amazing luck with our first unboxing. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Check out that video, though, if you haven't already, because that was a really good box. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we can get from this one. I mean, of course, too, I also got this from Big Collectibles. Check them out. And, again, too, check out my TCG Player link as well. It will send you to this set. And, also, if you just buy anything from TCG Player, it helps out my channel. I know with the ban list and, you know, just any card games or whatever you want to buy, um, there's a lot of people going to be on that site. So, I'm just saying, <laughs> it helps support the channel. I would appreciate it. Anyway, let's see what we can get. Because, obviously, you can see that we're getting... Dark Magician support from this set. You have basically new cards for every one of the protagonists except for uh, Playmaker. So, yeah, you got uh, Yugi, Jaden, Yusei, Yuma, and Yuya. So, let's get to it. Hoping for some elemental heroes, too. Hopefully we have some good luck getting them. Starting off, we have Papora Pal uh, Popper Up. A lot of cool-looking cards, too. A lot of good artwork from this. Because, like, each one has, like, a cool artwork, like, from the opening of their show. Magician Navigation. Still happy about that one. That's a good reprint, for sure. Because that was one that, eh, not too tough to get, but it'll make it even easier for people that want to play Dark Magicians. Perform a pal. And, well, already starting off, we got one of Yuya's new cards. This one is Perform a pal Celestial Magician. I still think this card's pretty cool. It's like a magician form of Zark. Bad part is the ban list just absolutely kicked uh, pendulums in the nuts. So, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Odd Eyes uh, Wizard Dragon. Yeah, hitting that Electromite. Yeah. Not a big fan of that change on the list. I kind of get it, but yeah, still not a fan. And... Oh, it's that one again! <laughs> it got me again! Holy crap! Already we got the, the best card of the set! <laughs> I, I guess, you know, I won't spoil what happened in the other one, even though I already did, I guess. But uh, we got uh, Magician Souls! Holy crap! I can't believe I actually got it again! And it did the same thing to me, though, where <laughs> I was like, cool, Dark Magician card! Oh, Dark Magician card! <laughs> so that is, that's stupid, man! I can't believe that gets me like that every time! Either way, though, yeah, this is one of the main cards I wanted from this set. I'm really excited about the Dark Magician support from this, and the Elemental Heroes. Those are like the two main things I wanted from this, and decks that I want to try out, especially with the new format and everything. So, getting one of these is amazing. I'm glad I'm having some good luck with that. Like, seriously. A lot better luck than Immortal Destiny, that's for sure. And a Zubaba Brancho a Gaga Coat. So, yeah, I'm going to say him once, because that is not a fun name to say. But let me get a sleeve for this, because... Yeah, I wish the evil heroes would have been that easy to get, right? Or maybe it's just I'm having good luck. I don't know. Either way, um, I'm happy I got them. Because, <laughs> like I said before, I don't plan on selling them or anything. I want to build Dark Magician. So, and I know, too, you can use the, the card with other decks, too. And that's part of the reason, like with spirals and everything. But, yeah, I want to use Dark Magician. Then, oh, yeah, here's the other one that's fun to say. Uh, Dota Doe Wharf, uh, Go 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 Glove. So... Yeah, Yuma's Monsters, I swear. I complained about them enough in the previous video, but seriously. Dang, already a good box then. You get one of those, that's instantly worth it right there. Then, of course, a Future Drive. Really hope, though, we might have some luck getting those elements heroes. I just need one of each of them, and then I'm good with heroes. I can do the deck profile. So, cross our fingers. Uh, before I'll pop her up. And I don't think the Elemental Heroes supposed to be as tough to get as the Evil Heroes in the previous set. And of course not as tough as Magician Souls, so... Apprentice Illusion Magician? There we go, another Hollow. Good reprint, by the way. It's my second one. And Automata Pickup. Yeah, that card was getting pricey again. So, I'm glad they reprinted it, making it, I think, a lot cheaper again, too. Magician's Navigation. I just think it's funny, though, Every he got me a second time on that card, where I'm just like, you know, mainly just happy I got a Dark Magician card, honestly. And, uh, <laughs> he got the most expensive one. Wizard Dragon. Did 
Dark Magician Girl. And uh, we got another one of uh, Soul Servant. That is awesome. Another Dark Magician card. So that's cool. Again, I love the artwork on this too. That is an amazing looking card. And then also Dodo, Dodo, -do -do, you know, I'm just going to say Dodo -do -do Wharf. How about that? I'll say the first part. Those are tongue twisters for me. Maybe not for other people, but I'm like, yeah. Illusion Magic. And then another one of uh, Dark Illusion. So we're definitely having good luck with Dark Magician. Pretty excited about that then. Junk Converter, there we go. I think, yeah, <laughs> we have quite a few of this one now. That's awesome, one of you says new cards. And uh, Scrap Iron Signal. I've already spoiled what I got in the first opening. You know what, if you didn't see it already, then that's on you. <laughs> I've just got to do that. It's still worth watching for sure. But I can't help it. Have uh, Secrets of Dark Magic. Oh, okay. Those packs kind of stuck together. Illusion Magic. Then Zubaba. Then one of Zark, still fun to see as a common. And also perform Pal Popper Up. What else? Excel Synchron. And uh, we got another one of Magistry uh, Alchemist. That's pretty cool. Again, I mean like this one for the artwork. Again, with uh, Electrum on it is uh, pretty cool. Of course, I'm a, I'm a big fan of GX anyway, so. <laughs> I like the callbacks to basically, I guess, the first five series, so, that this set provides for us. Oh, focus, there you go. And another Dark Magician card. Seriously, thank you, Heart of the Cards, thank you, God, <laughs> that I am having good luck getting Dark Magician cards. So, yeah, we have a Magician's Combination. That is... Still, that's probably my favorite artwork, honestly, out of the whole set. Although, I do like the new Fusion card, don't get me wrong, but that artwork is amazing. Again, I believe it's a playmat that you can get in Japan. I'm going to try to hunt one of those down, but I think it's pretty expensive. I think it's like a $100 playmat or more than that. It might be way more than that, honestly. So, I, either way, that is awesome. And then, uh, Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. Well, there we go. I'm sure good luck with that. I might not get my, my Evil to Heroes, but I'll, I'll take my Dark Magicians. I'm not complaining. I, I'm definitely not complaining. Then, oh, Salat Synchron. Okay, I thought we had a holo for a second. That's cool. I'll take that. And you guys have seen, I think, everywhere from the set by now, <laughs> probably. So we'll probably stop naming those off, unless there's just something I want to name off. And I don't want to name him off. <laughs> there you go. That's the one right afterwards. But like I said, those are actually pretty decent cards, too, for Yuma. I just don't like the names. I'm just being a baby. Then a Scrap Iron Signal. Skyscraper. I think that's cool that they reprinted that. Wizard Dragon. Still wish that was a better one. I was hoping maybe somehow they would just throw in Odd Eyes Rebellion into this set. Uh, because I still want that card. Maybe one day. And there's another card I was looking for from this set. Here's, uh, it's not one of the Elotero cards I'm looking for, really, for competitive play, but the artwork, I mean, come on, this is amazing. It is Favorite Hero, and yeah, that's one of my favorite heroes, too, so there you go. It is Jaden's favorite, which is uh, Wingman right there, Flame Wingman. So that's pretty cool. I think that was one that was turned to a playmat as well, which is another one I should try to pick up because that's really cool looking. And then Automata Pickup. Well, there you go. Speak of, you know, I just said that. And, uh, yeah, though, that's a good ultra for that reason. I know it's not one of the sought-after ones, but, I mean, come on. It has Flame Wingman on it. How could you not want to get that card? Sorry, there's something wrong with you if you don't want that for that reason. Or that's how I feel. Cosmic Blazar. And then a Generation X right after that. That's another one I like, mainly because the artwork. Again, original materials, and I would buy sleeves on a playmat with that instantly. And then uh, another one for Form Pal. I kind of want the Uncensored art, though, because for Cinetrix, I like our other outfit a little bit better. Not because of, you know... I, I think it looks cool because it actually has flames on it, but, <laughs> yeah. 
I guess it's too revealing, which I, I guess I get to. You know, censors. Kind of wish we didn't have any censors at all in Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. Maybe if the anime stopped, but I think if the anime stopped, that would hurt the game. So, I don't guess we want that. Here lives and navigation. Got in quite a few of those. Okay, we're just opening this one weird. Maybe that's a good sign. There we go. Well, I thought there we go. All right. Halfway to forever. Then, ah, unfortunately not. Automata pickup. Even though my camera didn't even want to focus on it, I was hoping maybe that was a good sign. Sometimes it can be. And uh, navigation. I don't know if we're missing anything or not. I always forget how many of each you're supposed to get from, from Legendary Duelist. I'm hoping for uh, some different ultra rares. Then uh, Scrap Iron Signal. Not that the ones I've gotten were bad, obviously. No, they're really good. I'm just still looking for my LFUs, which I believe are both ultra rares, and I want that fusion for Dark Magician as well, which is another ultra rare. So those are on my mind right now. Another one of Dark Illusion. Harmonizing Magician. And then uh, Future Drive. I think a few packs left. Come on, at least give me one of my Elemental Heroes. That's still like the main deck I want to play with our new rules, especially in April. Then? Yeah, I thought it was another one of him. Another one of Celestial Magician. I was kind of wondering because it looked like it was a hollow and being a pendulum, I, I think that's like the only hollow pendulum. I don't know. I have to double check myself. I could be wrong, but uh, I kind of figured it was him. Or her, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Pendulum Dimension. Got Samurai. And then also Secrets of Dark Magic. Kind of surprised they didn't go with, like, Cowboy. And it's like a common instead of Samurai. Would have been a little bit more competitive. And there's one of my Elotiros. Okay, I knew I saw Fusion. I was thinking... Either one, I'm good, you know? <laughs> like I said, I want the Magician one, I want uh, my heroes. So we actually got Elemental Hero Sunrise. This card is really awesome too, by the way. Basically for heroes, uh, you need like one of each of the new heroes. So Sunrise, it's a great fusion. You can even like use, uh, what was it? Uh, Miracle Fusion with it. I don't know why I couldn't think of that for a second. And it's just an all around good hero. And then the other one makes it so it's like a new uh, Bubble Man, basically. I forget his exact name. Uh, I think it's like Hydro Man or I always think of the Japanese name. Anyway, uh, he makes it easier to bring out like Absolute Zero and Acid. We finally actually have ways to use those two again. So uh, yeah, I I'm looking forward to getting the other one too. But uh, yeah, that's definitely one I needed. Because I missed the old combo of using Absolute Zero. I guess you could still use Bubble Man if you wanted, but I, I feel like the new one's a little bit better. The Navigation. And last pack. Okay, what can we end with? Uh, hit that like button, share your energy with me. I mean, Dragon Ball Kakarot just came out recently, so let's uh, you know share our energy together and see what we can end with. I'm actually installing that game as I'm recording today, so hope it's good. It looks pretty awesome. All right, Samurai, and, ah, uh, unfortunately not. We have before a pop popper up, but uh, yeah, I have zero complaints with this box too. I mean, I got a lot of cards I needed, especially, again, we got our uh, Dark Magician support, like for real, right there. Uh, one of my Elemental Heroes I needed, I just need the other one now too, so I'm, I'm hoping uh, I'll get that one next, and uh, yeah, I might already have everything enough for Magicians. I might just need one more of Souls, and I think I might just need one of the fusion. I don't know. I have to double check. I, I've been working with my list a lot, so I haven't really got everything in stone just yet, I guess. But for heroes, I know I just need one of each. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you guys think about this set. Do you like it? Do you not like it? And all that stuff too. For me, I'm a big fan of it, but I always like Legendary Duelists. So I'm kind of biased towards it because of nostalgia 
and then also too there are good competitive cards in here too i, I feel like there's a good mix as with most of legendary duelists and so far i shouldn't say anything but i'm having some good luck so we'll see if i just jinx myself but as always thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed hit that like button subscribe ring that bell all that stuff because it helps out tremendously and uh, i'm sorry i always have to ask that kind of stuff too but you gotta be that youtuber these days if you want to continue on youtube so yeah you just ignore that if you already have i guess but as always thank you guys for watching hope you have a great day and i will catch you guys later see ya